when you look back at your life, you know, and you think of a, of a life-changing moment, it's usually the case that you didn't realise it was a life-changing moment until afterwards, and then you look back on it and you see it in perspective. And I wonder if that's the case for, for Max here, Max George, because he says that going to see an NHS professional changed his life when he was struggling with his mental health. Yes, and it's the care he saw given to his bandmate from The Wanted, Tom Parker, in the last months of his life. It really makes Max want to say thank you to mm. the nation's healthcare workers. He joins us now. Good morning to you. Morning. Hi, yeah. I mean, you know, first of all, I want to say, um, so sorry, because it's obviously unbelievably sad uh, what has happened. And, you know, so many people are feeling it. It's still very raw. We're so mm -hmm. grateful for you coming on to talk about this. No, but I know that, you know, you wanted to, to sort of say a thank you, the NHS, the care that you know, Tom had received, uh, that you've had as well at times over the years, you wanted to just come and, and talk about that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, obviously, more recently with, with Tom, I saw that the work that he did there, um, especially at the hospice at St Christopher's, they were absolutely amazing. Um, and you know, even with us, like they did like keep it quiet and let us stay longer and when we weren't supposed to be there. But <laughs> like, they were so good and they made us feel so welcome and it, and the way they looked after him it was it was a beautiful place and like you mentioned with myself uh, years ago i went to see someone because i didn't feel great i thought i was ill and um an nhs um worker uh, told me to go and speak to somebody a counselor which i did and it turned out it was i was having mental health issues which i didn't know that you didn't I, had. Realize, I had no idea what was and it dep depression anxiety? yeah it was uh, anxiety depression and mm. but i literally had no idea and because of them i was able to move forward rather than just keep thinking like what's wrong with me um, so that one conversation somebody saying you need to go and see somebody and you act on it it turns your life around it did it really did and one it doesn't it doesn't stop it you know it doesn't stop it yeah. happening like the rep episodes now and again but it really did change my life because i know how to deal with it now i was listening to to another tom tom bradby you know the itv news at 10 mm. uh, presenter who had to take time off because of his mental health issues um and alistair campbell was on the show the former lady yeah. spin doctor he's spoken very publicly many times about his and both of them have said in separate interviews I, i'm fascinated by this I want to know if it's true of you that that the, just the act of talking about your mental health problems in in some detail in public um, on shows like this is great therapy it actually yeah. helps you to feel better do, do, do you find that yeah I, I found when I first came on that show like this to talk about it it was a bit of a risk I felt yeah. like it was a risk because I didn't know how I was gonna feel about it I was gonna be letting people that were mm. close to me know that I had it but that didn't know how people um, were gonna react and actually um, the feedback it's been amazing like so many people have messaged me saying that They've spoke to the mum today and they feel better already. Um, and yeah, but it all goes back to the, the NHS for me, which uh, is why the campaign I'm doing right now, um, they've teamed up with O2 and Concert for Carers, which is where anyone who works at the NHS can apply to get tickets to watch some of the favourite artists at venues all over the country. These are free tickets? Mm. Yeah, they're free. Yeah. And uh, Liam Gallagher's all, uh, already done one, right. uh, Billie Eilish. So it, it's a really, I think it's a really nice thing that they can just go out and... And how do they access nice that? Do they, go, they go online, do they? Yeah, they just have to register. Concert uh, for carers? But it, concert for carers, uh, so that's where they can register it at. As long as they're an NHS worker, yeah. um, they can get tickets. And I, I just think it'd be a really nice thing, because I think there was a poll done the other day, because um, it's Thank You Day on Sunday, mm. and there was a poll done, and I think 80% of the people in the UK said that they're number one um, person or people that they would thank is the NHS. So right. it's you know it's it's the least we can. Well, it's do. great. Well, it's lovely to have a special way of being able to do that, isn't it? F from your point of view, you know, you, you've spoken about your your mental health really honestly and openly. H how has Tom losing Tom affected that? Because you know he was such a key part of your life. How yeah. are you at the moment? Because sometimes there are those things, aren't there, that can sort of just rock our world, knock us for six. Yeah. Um, uh, someone asked me this yesterday. I think. Mentally, like I'm, I'm all right. Like uh, mental health wise, everything's fine. Uh, it's more just the physical thing right the now. Grief. Yeah, yeah, the grief. It's yeah. just the physical pain of, of it hurts. not having it. It hurts. Isn't it? Yeah, and uh, that's the only way I can describe it. It's it's there's nothing else to it other than I you know, just miss him and and it, I just wish. Uh, I it think I think that, I think you speak for everybody there. Grief, grief is actually almost a physical pain. Mm. Isn't yeah, it? It and, is. it, and, it, and it won't go. It's it's there and yeah. it throbs. And you were saying again, being very honest, you were saying I mean, we all deal with it in different ways. Those of us who've gone through bereavement, and and you actually still send Tom texts, don't you? you, you I do. And pictures I, on your I, phone. I do. I still I still <laughs> text him. Yeah, like if if I see something online or like something to do with a band that we've spoken about to one of the boys, I still message him. Um, I think. 
what I've learned as well is because uh, his book's out at the minute, and I'm, I'm, when I read his book, it's so nice to see quotes from him. I remember moments like when I first met him, but I'm now reading what his thoughts what were he when he first it. met me. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So it's so nice to have that now. And what sort of, and have that can you just give me an example of a message that you might send him? What, what would it say? Um, like the other day, there was a picture that somebody had uh, drawn pictures out of his book, but they'd drawn them. Right. And um, they'd like put all like angels and stuff, and it was like me hugging him, and I sent him the picture, and I just put like, <laughs> mate, how lovely is this? And like, <laughs> I put added who'd sent it to him. Like, and you when know. you do that, does, does, do, do you feel the pain easing a bit? Yeah, like it, yeah. it does make it kind of makes me smile. I, I, I said the other day, like the the only time that that sort of stings me a bit is when I go to do it uh, by accident. By accident, and then exactly. I'm like, oh no. And then yeah, you remember yeah. that they're yeah. not there. How but yeah, been, like how long's it been gone now? It... Uh, oh, just over two months. Oh, well, it's very raw then. Mm. I mean, you know, it's in, in in my I'm much older than you. In my experience, when you lose somebody who's close, it ta it takes a year at least. Yeah. you know, to get any kind of normality. And back. he was a you know a, a special person. I remember one of the sort of, you know, the last times that I saw him, and, and we were both patrons of a hospice, actually, in the, in the southeast of England, Eleanor, and he was still saying then, even though he had so much going on, he was obviously dealing with so much, and he was like, oh, please let me know, I'd really like to know how I can help them. You know, mm -hmm. he was that kind of person, wasn't he? Yeah, he was, yeah, and uh, right up until the end, he'd still be talking to other patients that had the same diagnosis as him and letting them know that, you know, there is life to live and putting a positive spin on everything. He was still doing that right up until the end. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, I think he touched a lot of people along the way yeah. um, and a lot of people that he didn't know, you know, yeah. which, which I'm really proud of him for. I bet you are. Yeah. Tom, it's really good it to meet be. you. I know you're old friends with Charlotte here, but it's not, really nice to talk to you. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, thanks so much. And it's don't forget it's Concert Kelsey, for right? Carers. OK, so if you work for the National Health in any capacity, you just uh, go to that website, Concert for Carers, you get a free concert. Amazing. Great idea, isn't it? Good stuff. Um,